you know when you go to the gym and you've got a running machine it's like yeah. a treadmill you can already get treadmills for VR can't you oh really I don't know I don't know whether I saw that in a film or whether that's something that's actually available maybe I should do, I know maybe I should do I some know. research before I talk to you uh, there, there, was, there was a game there, there, there was a series out on Televo years ago where they did where they were in a VR experience I mean it, it was obviously the most basic of basic vrs but i do remember they were running on the spot on something right um but uh, again so another great feature of quest 2 which i really love is it's got something called a guardian feature on it have you heard of this oh what you can leave your kids with it and go out to the pub that'd be great if you could oh wouldn't that be great just put a headset on your kids and just leave them there for a whole night (laughs) yeah (laughs) Bad parenting. Bad, bad parenting. <laughs> yeah, but so so the guardian feature, you've got you obviously hold the two controllers in your hand, mm. uh, in your hands, and it it basically it, the the quest to allows you to see the outside world, the, your current lounge or or where you are. Oh, so so you can actually walk around now, seeing the outside. So. You, and, so and it becomes it, uh, more like augmented re- reality rather than full virtual well, reality. <clears throat> so that is so you can sketch an outline of your barriers, of your boundaries. Right. Um, and then when you go close, to, when you're in virtual reality, if you're going close to a barrier, it, it kind of like, if you've ever watched Star Trek and you've seen what the holodeck's like, mm. it all of a sudden brings a, that kind of that virtual wall in front of you. Right, and you go, oh, okay, right. So I'm going outside of my boundary. I'll be careful. Um, the whole point of it is, you could go into your garden. As long as you sketch out the the, the barrier you want, the, the perimeter where, where you want, all, where all the rose bushes are. Yeah, exactly. You can literally wear your wireless headset in your garden, pissing about in a virtual world. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. So, yeah, it is. It is really cool. It, they've they have done well and as as you said then when you're before you're in so a great thing with a pc is before you're going into a game you can have the virtual world in the background as actually just seeing what your desk is like so you don't have to do that thing anymore of like you know <laughs> feeling around for shit where, where's that keyboard gone where's my beard um, gone? Yeah, exactly. The only time it goes to full screen is obviously when you're getting into the game, and then it's a full virtual world. But before that, when you're in the in-game menus, it's got obviously the square menus in front of you, but it's also got your outside world as well, like your your normal reality, which is awesome. Yeah, that's a nice It's a really nice touch. Yeah, yeah. Unless you live in a shithole, but (laughs) for people with nice houses, that's good. (laughs) (laughs) you live in a shithole... Yeah, it's true. So true. <laughs> well, you got to admit, having virtual reality is like a a necessary escape for people in poverty. I should think. It's... Have you seen um, Ready Player yeah, One? Reb, Reb, they can't afford VR headsets if they're living in poverty. Oh, maybe they'll be able to get one on NHS. I don't know. Well, maybe government scheme. Yeah. Have you seen Ready Player One? <laughs> uh, no, never, never seen it. But my old man has compared. VR to that. I'd, I, I'm assuming that's what it's like. Um, well, the film's based around people in VR. It's okay. Obvi- it's obviously stupid, but um, is this going to be a spoiler alert for people listening? In? I mean, the film's been out for quite some time. If if people haven't, if people are interested in watching it but haven't yet, I don't. I don't think anything I say right now is going to be the the biggest of their concerns. Um, okay. Cool. I mean. Uh, it's a great ad- it's a great advert for VR, but it yeah. raises the expectation beyond um, beyond reasonable. It's not it's not the best film, um, mm. but also it wasn't the worst. To be honest, in lockdown, it was entertainment for one evening, and I'll take okay. that at the moment. So um, yeah, too right, man, too right. I think they I think they're doing a second one, which might be a bit of a push, but hey ho. Okay. Okay. Hollywood's got to make money somehow. Yeah, no, very true, very true. And Jurassic Park, that 
I still haven't, because there's a new Jurassic Park coming out, which I've been trying to film through lockdown, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what? I it, it was only um, it was only because of lockdown that I actually got around to watching all of the other five films. So I'm <laughs> I'm all caught up on Jurassic Park now for the sixth installment, uh, where I'm hoping that a dinosaur will eat Jeff Goldblum. So um, yeah. Oh. No. Yeah, I like why him. Not? Yeah, I like him, but he's the old he, character. He's, can't die. he's he now is a character of Jeff Goldblum that <laughs> is exactly the same in every single film I've seen him in recently. He was in um, he was in something I watched recently on Netflix, Hotel Artemis, and his oh, okay. his character was. Exactly the same as it was in Jurassic Park, Thor Ragnarok, every other film I've seen him in. I don't know. I mean, he's yeah, he's he's he's, he's a character, but I don't think he's a great actor. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I get that. I, I I get that. Um, he's he's just a fun guy to listen to, though, isn't he? Yeah, he's... I think so. Anyway, right. To be honest, I have. I've... I haven't seen him recently as like the main actor because no, I don't know. I, I don't think he's really had any like main roles. Uh, he was in the I, Fly, uh, wasn't he? I'd never watched the Fly. Uh, what have you been doing in lockdown? Uh, Working, having kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind watching. I mean, what have I watched recently? I watched Westworld. Just finished watching all three what, the, series. Of that. Oh, the series. What's that like? Yeah, yeah. that's pretty epic, mate. Pretty epic. Um, yeah, I, I could, I could honestly. I, I was disappointed. Uh, well, no, sorry, I was sad that it stopped, but it was finished because, um, yeah, series one. Well, there isn't really, really any more. Well, no, they're making it at the moment, but oh, right. man, that could change. I mean, I mean, series one was absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's got Anthony Hopkins in it. So, what yeah. film is not good with that bloke in it? I, even, even films where they you can tell they've been made on a total budget, and they somehow managed to convince him to play a part in it. Yeah, he still does it well. He shines. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty much everything else around him is shit. Yeah, and so there leads me to the the, the problem of. He, yeah, I don't want to. Sp- Again, if you haven't, for those who haven't watched it, again, um, this this started what four years ago, five years yeah, ago. Exactly. So once but, again, if people haven't watched it, and we say off. things that spoil the plot, that's not an us problem. That's a them problem. Oh dear, but um, so he's not in it in series two and f- well, he is in it in series two and three, but very like on and off. Right. Okay. So, so it's a bit like that- it's a bit like dangling a carrot with saying, "Oh, Anthony Hopkins is yeah. in this," and yeah. then yeah, okay. fully engaged in the first series, and then you think, ah, ah, yeah, this you've just lost your main character, which everyone loves. So mm. good luck. But no, it, it, I, I binged that. Um. What else did I binge recently? Um, I'll tell you what. The Outsider. Oh, I've not even heard of that. What's that on? Uh, that's on Sky. Sky Atlantic. Uh, yeah, I don't um, know Sky. But yeah, really good. Really, really good. Um, but what were you going to say, sorry? Well, I was just going to say, we could probably do a whole a whole podcast on talking about... Definitely. ...television. Too so right. Let, I mean, that, this can be a teaser... You know, yeah. entice people Shit. in with the bollocks that we talk. Um, it's going to get real next time when we talk about stuff we've been binging on. Yeah. While being trapped in a house for a year, Ebook even bought a new fifty-eight-inch telly so he could binge on shit in Ultra HD. Yeah. <laughs> Did you? Wow. Yeah, yeah, literally. But the only other reason I bought the Ultra HD telly, so just so we don't get into it too much, is was. Just purely for Sky Sky Sports F1 Formula One in Ultra HD. Uh, That's it. Yeah. 
why not buy a state of the art telly just to watch some cars go Whoa! And then yeah buy... I mean if you enjoy it and you want to have that sort of exactly. immersive feeling then um, exactly. watch You're it right, watch it on your Oculus Rift <laughs> Phil that's a fucker yeah you can it can't be it, I can't imagine that a time won't come where every car has like a 360 camera built into the uh Built into the body. Tesla? No, I mean in an F1 car. Oh, yeah. Oh, Where you wow. can just press the red button on your remote and it'll take you to... Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. shit, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Insert F1 driver's name here. And um, oh. you can just look around and see everything flying past in close to real time. Well, this is a, this is a scary... This is where the younger generation are going. I think we do, do. I think we talked a bit about this last time. Um, what the younger but, generation? I mean, we moan yeah, about that pretty much every day. Uh, whether we talked about it in the last post podcast, I couldn't honestly say. I, yeah, I only I, I, I only listened to it about fifty times whilst editing that stupid bit of background <laughs> texting. Hey, it sounded good. I liked it. Oh, you finally listened to it, did you? Yeah, I finally listened to it. I mean, I say you um, finally listened to it. You were there for the recording, but you yeah, finally watched yeah. it. Cool. No, I am... Um, I, I genuinely think, in the future, why wouldn't we have more virtual reality headsets? And, and, and you know, you could even imagine working from home, but in a virtual office in the future, um, under virtual... I mean, obviously, it would be horrid having to having to go into a virtual office with yeah. your bosses and colleagues. Shit, me! Imagine if people could choose what outfits they wore to a virtual meeting. It'll be a bit like Second Life. Did you ever? Uh, did you ever see Second Life? No. No. Okay. No, I can imagine. Showing I'm, my I'm just, age here, probably. But um, I've just got this thing. But you know, virtual characters in a virtual. Oh, you got stuck office. on that bit. <laughs> yeah. You'd have people. I just, you'd have people turning up to meetings in like a, a toga. Uh, Fong. Yeah, yeah, possibly. God. <laughs> a man king. Maybe uh, you know the technology might have been there for years, but nobody's brave enough to actually uh, release it. Yeah. No, absolutely, man. It's bad well, you've got the Zoom. Uh, yeah, I've I've not tried the VR chat yet, but apparently that's all avatars and virtual characters, and you. You're basically walking around these worlds, talking to each other. I mean, you know, that's that's how sad. Well, I say how sad, but again, it's this is what it's it's going to be normal to the younger generation. Yeah, yeah. They're going to be they'll like mock us. Them, like, they'll mock yeah, us. Exactly. They're not doing it. They'll be like, and, they'll be like, oh, <laughs> Andy, just join me in the VR chat, and you'll be like, what? No. Yeah, exactly. You'll be going like, what? what? What everybody else does. It will destroy girlfriend and boyfriends. Like old person, you know. Oh, do you want to? Do you want to come meet me at the pub, and then hopefully I can get her drunk and take her home. Instead, it would be like, do you want to meet me in my virtual room O five, mm. and maybe we can have a virtual kiss. Ugh. Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah, that's what it'll be like. No, no more body contact. Just a load of fat people in their armchairs at home. Well, I mean, to be fair, I don't think we need VR for that. <laughs> yeah. Just have a year of lockdown for a bunch of fat people sitting at home. Oh, amazing, amazing. Deary me, deary me. But yeah, no, virtual reality is definitely gonna. It's getting there. It's it's pretty much the only thing. The only thing that's stopping it, or the only thing I was thinking about the other day. Is one thing that probably hasn't promoted it that well is is nowadays it, everyone watches Twitch or YouTube streamers to get their views and thoughts on games. Hmm. Now these streamers and reviewers and all that stuff and and well especially with streamers they are not going to ever do a Twitch stream with a fucking bit of well with a rat on their heads. They just won't do it. They won't do a VR session. I don't know about Twitch, because, but there's, I mean, there's plenty of YouTube videos of uh, people's, oh, like, playthroughs of games. Yeah, it, but could you imagine... It loses something in the translation, though. I think with VR, you really need to be in there. Otherwise, you're just watching somebody's playing a game. Yeah. There's no... You're not yeah. getting the experience. 
I, j- I just wonder if you know like like when uh, the popular went like when the popular guys and girls did the rust server um on twitch and all of a sudden rust became one of the most popular games on steam mm. overnight yeah. um i just wonder if they all started promoting vr you know would it, would the sales of vr all of a sudden skyrocket and they'd go out of stock and stuff like that um, uh i don't know i mean there's a big difference between going out and buying a 35 pound game and buying a three to four hundred pound headset mm-hmm. you know yeah, you might see a, you might see a spike i mean, you definitely would see a spike but i don't yeah. i don't know that it would you know equal overnight success no no very true very very true especially when like 50 percent of the people that watch these idiots are trolls and just sort of go around God. looking to cause trouble on, again on my nice peaceful server Keep, I just can't. Keeping my moderators awake at night. <sighs> it's gotten to a point now where I just can't see the, the logical sense in the chat in streams. That's but well for the popular streamers that is, you know. No, I know. You just, it's, it's just it's it's like um, it's like a waterfall of like just characters. Shit. You can't read any of it. Yeah. And half of it is replies Drivel. to other people, and you're like, well, I can't find the the like the original exactly. posts it's just nonsen- yeah. nonsensical gibberish it's like when I'm watching the Rustified stream yeah uh, and someone will quickly say oh what's your views on the implementation of uh, X or Y or Z and then all of a sudden within half a second it's been dominated by 50,000 shit emojis yeah and people going "Wee." Yeah. Oh, oh, it's live! It's live! It's live at six o'clock in the evening. I just wish I. That's <clears throat> that's why I really enjoy um, watching a streamer called Limmy. Yeah. Ever heard of him? Uh, only I think I mentioned. Yeah, yeah. only because you've mentioned him. Yeah, he just bans him. Just ban. And he literally says, "If if no one can give any constructive chat, I'm just going to ban you. I don't care about the viewers. I've got enough money. I don't care." Like. <laughs> Yeah, and literally, his Monday morning process is he gets up on a Monday and does a does a live chat in Twitch, um, like the live chat category. Yeah, and it is purely banning. Like he says, I love Mondays because I get rid of a shit, I get rid of a drivel and idiots that are on my chat, and like literally, it's just it's hilarious. And then they all go, please unban me, and he's like, no, no, I told you. Only to be, oh, to be that popular on Twitch or whatever to be able to do that. Just ban people. <laughs> oh, well, I hope I've covered VR enough. I don't think there's much. That's the thing with VR, isn't there? Once you've done the initial discussions and you've talked about it, there's not that. It's great, but there's not enough yet mm. to continue talking about it for a long for long periods of time like no well like i said said at the beginning that's my fear of sort of the appeal for me i can see from what you said about the racing i can see obviously where you're you'll get your um, long-term value but for me yeah. it's uh it's a bit more questionable yeah no ab- absolutely absolutely but if having said that i probably will buy one at some point just for the novelty factor you know, it's yeah, and you can you can download VR Netflix and all that stuff. Oh. So it is there. So well, you so, absolutely... I can, so I can watch a film on my own. Yep, pretty nice. much all on your own. Um, not to mention there's pornography, but I don't. I, we won't go into that. Wow, that didn't take long. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I spoke to one of my mates about it, and he said he he only watched it once, and he never watched it again. And I said, why is that? And he was like, because it felt like I was cheating on my wife. I think it's probably more likely that it was really bad quality. <laughs> <laughs> or it was that good that it felt like he was cheating on his wife. No, most likely bad quality. Low polygon, <laughs> low refresh rate, <laughs> bad textures. Oh dear. Anyway, you can update me on that at some point. I'm sure you I will. I will do. I'll give it a go. <laughs> so on that Brilliant. note, that's us done, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. World of VR ticked off. Yeah. Until further update. 
Right, time time for a fade to silence then. Do 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 do. Mm-hmm.